you're watching NCAA On Campus. I'm Alexis Bernacki here at the University of Wisconsin-Whitewater. Whitewater is located in southeast Wisconsin, right between Madison and Milwaukee. There are about 10,000 students here, and the Warhawks compete in NCAA Division III, and they do so with quite a bit of success. In 2005, both the baseball team and the women's volleyball team were NCAA champions. Two years ago, the women's basketball team went to the Final Four. And in football, well, the Warhawks are very familiar with a place called Salem, Virginia, site of the D3 championship game, the Amos Alonzo Stag Bowl. They've been in that final game each of the past four seasons, and each time going up against Ohio's Mount Union College. In 2007, they won it all, but three times they came up short. Winning is great, but we wanted to know how these young men in purple and white keep coming back. To get over the loss, um, you know, I kind of took took about a month while we were off of school, let it sink in. When we made it that far, you know, put everything into it and we lost, I mean, it was heartbreaking. It's just tough to lose a big game like that when you work so hard in the season and finally comes down to the last game and you just couldn't finish. You know, when I'm in that weight room, that always stick in the back of my head, you know, losing that national championship game last year. One thing about losing that last game, you, you have that taste in your mouth for the whole off season and that kind of motivates you going into, going into those winter workouts and getting back in the weight room and, and doing the things that you need to do to, to try to win that final one. This year's team is not getting ahead of themselves and thinking about a fifth straight trip to the championship. The mantra is repeated by everyone. Getting to that national championship game is never our focus. We, um, we need to take game by game. One game at a time, that's the motto. We are continuing to take it one game at a time. It's kind of been that way all year. We take every game one week at a time. You know, we try not to look ahead at all. You know, to look at a national championship game at the start of a season is, you know, that's when things go downhill for a team. They do an outstanding job of, of taking it a, a game by game mentality, a day by day in practice to just get a little bit better than we were the day before. The Warhawks have played them one by one, going through the regular season undefeated and winning conference. Once we get that conference title, uh, we really just kind of cut loose and just let it all hang out uh, each and every playoff game. I think, um, you know, we, we kind of throw being conservative out the window and we just kind of, um, you know, we put it all on the line. I think we typically play better when we do that. You know, we've, we've been playing, it's great. You know, offense putting up 40 points a game, defense. Defensive stop and uh, coming from scoring. If we could do that, you know, you don't need to change anything at all, I feel. So. Yeah, for sure. If we just keep playing the way we played all year, I think it proves that we have a chance to make a run in the playoffs and hopefully make it to the Seg Bowl. The Warhawks play here at Perkins Stadium, and with 13,000 seats, it's the largest on campus stadium in Division III football. It's where Coach Lance Leipold played his college football. After being an assistant coach for programs in Division I and II, he returned to Whitewater in 2007 and led the Warhawks to their first NCAA title. Whitewater is his home. It's everything. Uh, my, my parents went here, my sister went here. I grew up 15 miles down the road. And, and to come back here and to have a chance to replace what, you know, really two coaching legends in this state, Forrest Perkins was here for 28 years and Bob Brezowitz for 25. And, try to carry on what they've really laid the, laid the groundwork for. I'm, I'm just, just an awful lucky man to have the opportunity to take this over. The Warhawks opponent in each of the past four championship games has been Mount Union College, winners of 10 Division III football championships. The two teams have been ranked number one and number two for all of this season. I have a lot of respect for Mount Union. For a lot of years, it's been them setting the standard, and we've kind of been trying to catch up to them. But now we're at the point where we want people the same. We want to be like Whitewater. To have those opportunities and, and for two teams to meet four consecutive years, I think say a lot about both of those programs. And, and for us, hopefully, uh, we'll, we'll get another shot at that another day. Thanks, guys, and good luck this year. You can follow the road to the December 19th Division III Championship game at NCAA.com.